I am having a super big proud daddy moment. Um, Emma has agreed to share a little bit of her story tonight. So would you welcome her? Hi. Um, my name is Emma. My parents are James and Gretchen Hume, as you might have gathered. Um, I'm 18 years old, and I actually just graduated high school in the spring from Kelly Walsh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm currently a freshman at Casper College, and yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um, so I've always grown up in a Christian family, and um, I've always like gone to church on Sundays and learned about God and have been really blessed to just live in a really loving home growing up. Um, but I guess you could kind of say I've always had a bit of a wild streak. Um, you know, break, there's something about like breaking rules and just pushing the boundaries that just really excites me for some reason, always growing up. Um, as I was growing up, life was pretty stable and normal for me um, until about eighth grade. My dad was offered a job, which is here. We used to live in Indiana and lived there for eight years. And then before I started eighth grade, my family decided we were gonna pack everything up and move to Wyoming. Now, me as a 13-year-old, I was very excited because I figured I would love to move to Wyoming. Everybody rides horses everywhere. <laughs> but little did I realize, everybody drives cars for some reason. So, we got here around August, so about a month before school started. Um, some good time to settle in, and my mom and I had lots of conversations about, okay, when you start school, make sure you're patient and wait for the good group of friends. Don't make the easy choices. Lots of conversations about that. Well, went to school the first day and came home. Mom, oh my gosh, guess what? I made a best friend today. I have made friends. So, not long after that, um, you know, it was, a, it was a new town, and in eighth grade, it was a pretty pivotal time in my life. I would say that growing up, I've always been a little bit sheltered, um, and eighth grade was a year I kind of had to grow up. It was um, a time when I was trying to find my place and identity in the world, and unfortunately, I found that through the wrong things and forgot to find myself through Christ. Eighth grade started and continued, and over that year, my self-confidence began to crumble. I was trying to find acceptance wherever that I could find it, and I began to feel hopeless, isolated, and I started to question my faith a lot, which resulted in me separating myself from God. Before I knew it, depression became something that was very real in my life. I know a lot of people struggle with feeling like they can't measure up or that they aren't good enough. And this was something that I struggled with for a very long time. Through this, I began to develop a lot of really unhealthy habits to cope. One of these was my body image. Unhealthy eating habits came from that. Self-harm was also soon something I was considering and I started to cut, which for me became an addiction. My mental pain, I turned into physical because it was easier to deal with that way. My biggest downfall though, is that I let a guy determine my worth anytime I was in a relationship. As soon as my parents figured out that this stuff was going on, I was immediately put into counseling at the Healing Place, which is our counseling center here at the church, which believe me, I did not want. <laughs> um, I was very, very lost in life at the time, and I've always been somebody who struggles to open up to other people and express my emotions. However, my parents made me go anyway, which was the good decision here. I continued to go to counseling, and eighth grade ended, and freshman year started. I wish I could say that it got better, but unfortunately, it got worse. I once again surrounded myself with an easy friend group. I began drinking, smoking, shoplifting, all of those things were regular activities. I got involved in a lot of really unhealthy relationships throughout high school as a way to escape and cope with my feelings. By this point in my life, I had made a lot of choices I was embarrassed and humiliated by. And I didn't wanna disappoint anyone, especially my parents and the people in the church. So instead, I hung around the people I knew I wouldn't disappoint. 
because they were making the same decisions as I was. I was accepted. But when I didn't talk to the people who wanted the best for me and who were ready to help me, I started to struggle even more. After I did begin opening up to my parents, I still struggled a lot, and it took me years. But eventually, the healing began to slowly happen. Soon, I made a new friend group. I came to terms with the decisions that I had been making, and I started to very slowly find my faith again. And it was not an easy process. You see, I had blamed God for everything that went wrong in my life. I would ask, why did you let me get involved with this? Why did you let this happen? Why are you letting me feel this way? But what I started to realize was that God was right there. I had turned my back on him, not the other way around. He was always there and he was ready to help me and make changes in my life. I was the one who was not ready to accept that. I'm glad to tell you that in the last two years, God has brought hope and healing to my life. I'm still healing and learning that this is a process that will take me a lot of time. I still have a lot of lonely days and I do grieve the choices that I've made, but I also know that I would never be who I am today without making them. I'm learning more and more how to accept the choices that I have made, how to make God my top priority and to realize that he is all that I need.